All right, you boys ready to see what we got? Yes, sir. Super exciting day today, guys. Have I got a good one for you? Man, so excited, so pumped. We're actually setting up, dialing in, and gonna be feeding our hard rock sampling circuit. And man, am I excited. Today we're plugging in a nice medium-sized jaw crusher to orbital impact and feeding it directly into the RP4 shaker table from the TX91 mine and see what we get. So let's dial it in, feed some rock, liberate some gold, and hopefully be grinning ear to ear. All right, up. this is where we poured the slab right here and we picked it up, set it down here. Then we came in with the excavator, positioned it, leveled off this whole area. We got the slab perfectly level. Uh, this is the stand for the RP4 shaker table. Now we gotta position the stand. We have three holes to drill for the anchor holes to cinch the stand down to the concrete base. So we got one, two, and three. So we're gonna use these three heavy duty wedge anchors. They're half inch. We're gonna take our rotary hammer drill with a half inch drill bit. I'm gonna mark it to delineate how deep I wanna go and pretty much I'm gonna take up this whole bit, maybe a little bit further. And then we're gonna use a variety of shims to get her perfectly level. Now let's blow out the holes. Really tight, snug fit. Hopefully, they'll go in there without a hiccup. Numero dos. Now, for the moment of truth, let's see if the holes line up. Let's see if we got it. Ooh, it's lining up. Ooh, we got it, look at that. We're gonna have to shim it to get it perfectly level. Now I did a pretty good job leveling the slab here. You can look, I just threw down the level and boom, we're right on. Now the big question is if the stand is level. Looky here, look at that, look at that. Look at that. Square, perfectly, perfectly level. Now that's just phenomenal. Um, when we cinch this down, it looks like we might lose a little bit here, so I might have to put a washer under that leg. This one's sitting firm, and this one's sitting pretty firm as well. So let's bang this down. So we got this corner all the way down. Ah. I'll bang this one. Woo! Numero dos. I think when we cinch that down, it'll line up perfect. Nice. Perfecto. All right, next up, washers and nuts. And look at that, guys. That's what they call dead nuts. <laughs> Gotta love it. And here she is, all mounted up. We're cinched down, the frame's level, the top's level. Man, this is exciting. Crush some more, put it on the table, do some bulk sampling, and hopefully we're in business.
well that was a long day you guys didn't get to see a whole lot because we were busy 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 one problem after another it's mining you're always tweaking fixing things we got the crushers the conveyor dialed in fairly well the shaker tables running well the recirculating ponds are doing the trick we ran about two-thirds of a ton of material it's been a real long day we pulled out a couple little nuggets out of the crusher that were held behind the screen and this is our high grade cons bucket. Looks like we got about a gallon, gallon and a half of material. So here we're gonna take a real quick look in this pan. Uh, this is a tiny little bit, you know, maybe a handful of material that we pulled out from the impact mill. There's a really fine screen that retains the material into the machine. The screen was plugging up, we were having all kinds of problems, so we had to tear it all apart. Uh, during the process, we decided to scoop out a little bit of the dirt, you know, just for grins see if there's any gold in it and sure enough there are two nice little chunks back there uh, get rid of this dirty water and in hard rock we're aiming to keep a lot of the sulfides and heavies which is material we may leach and or roast at some point in the future let's see if we got any free milling gold Got a whole lot of sulfides, uh, some hematite, a little bit of magnetite. It's a big old blob of something. Ah, a piece of mica schist. Ha <laughs> we don't need that. <laughs> we got better things to look for. That's right. So I'm already seeing some copper and gold. Our ore might be carrying native copper. But look at all of that. So we have these tiny little BBs of copper right there. And that's a nice little nugget. I mean, that's a picker. And this is some really fine gold area. And we got some chunker, chunkier, coarser stuff in there as well, which is just phenomenal. So I'm gonna take three, three four scoops out of the high grade, uh, pan it down real quick. I'm using a panning tub because I wanna collect all the sulfides, uh, the pyrites. You know, silver sulfites, what have you, along with the free milling gold. We're gonna see how much gold we got. Whatever we pan off in the tub, we're gonna keep upgraded on the shaker table once again. And once we get a clean mineralized cut, that's the material we're gonna take and smelt in the furnace, and hopefully end up with a nice old button of silver and gold. See how fine that material is. It's a really fine sand consistency, and hopefully we're grinding it fine enough to where we're getting a good liberation of the gold and recovery. Uh, there's a slight chance we could go coarser. More than likely though, we'd probably like to grind it a tiny bit finer, but we'll see what we got in here. You always want to make sure to pour the water off so that the material kind of compacts and solidifies so that we're only panning off the top layer. You know, from the looks of it, this is all ore and potentially paying material, but we're trying to just see if we have any free milling gold here at the bottom. I tap it here on my palm just like this while I'm shaking it side to side to help drive those really thin, tiny, scaly flakes of gold down through those heavies down to the bottom of the pan. 
So when I tap it like this, it helps drive them down there. We got a whole lot of shiny. Most of this is pyrite up here. And I'm gonna be panning a lot of it off. Now we're hoping we got a line of gold down there as well. I'm gonna remove a little bit of the magnetic so it's easier to pan the rest of this material. However, there really isn't a lot of magnetite. We got non-magnetic heavies in here out the wazoo. So your best bet would really be to just take this pile of black and gold sulfides, roast it, throw it in a crucible, smelt it, and end up with a nice little button. Chunk of galena possibly, that little glowing fleck right there. Let's see if I got enough of that material out the pan to be able to do a swirl. Still a heck of a lot of stuff in there. We got a little piece of malachite which indicates copper. Maybe that's where the little copper BBs came from. I'm gonna have to pan this down further. Ooh, there it is. We got a little bit of gold right there. I'm gonna have to take this down a little bit further so we can actually see it. Look at that! Whoa. Right at the bottom. Super fine, super fine gold. Look at that, nice little smile right there. Yep. Look at that line. All right, I'm gonna pan this down a little bit further so we can <laughs> suffer that up. That's. That's face powder fine stuff right there. You look good over there. What do you do? Sure. What's the antique With the sunset in the background. It's a thing of beauty. You want to do a pan? How are your pan skills, Ron? Yeah, he's pretty good at it, but I take me a long, long time. We might have you do one, Jordan, if you that. like. Sure. We're catching it in the tub, so you yeah. can't go wrong. Yeah. This is fine like that. It's a lot harder than it looks, I guarantee you, when you first start. It looks simple. Well, in this hard rock material, it's the nastiest. Yeah, it's so it's hard. hard. Most guys can't do it, especially if you have a you know, full pan. Oh, it's yeah. almost impossible to get everything moving just right or enough oh, yeah. to where the gold will sink. So with the hard rock, it's even more important to use uh, less of the concentrates in your pan, otherwise you'll be struggling for hours oh, yeah. and or lose all your gold. All right, you boys ready to see what we got? Yes, sir. sir. Okay. Let's take a look. Again, a bunch of pyrites, a lot of black heavy sulfides, no magnetite. We already removed it all. Ah, uh, we got floaters. Floaters! <laughs> you see that down here? Yeah. All these little fine specks. So with the, can you hold this for a second, Ron? So with the hard rock material, um, the pyrites, the gold, it's so much thinner and flatter that it floats even more than regular plaster gold. I've already added jet dry and surfactant to this and we still got floaters. Pyrite. Those copper BBs really got me curious. There's a mm -hmm. couple here. Ooh, we got gold showing up over there already. It is. It's a pretty long line. You can, oh, wow. you can see that face powder, super fine stuff piling up over here. This is smaller than fly poop. This is ultra, ultra mega fine hard rock gold powder. Oh, there's that big piece. There's that big piece in that copper. These little copper balls are really peculiar. There it is. There it is, guys. It's hard to see, but from here all the way down, all the way over here, this is all fine, fine gold. I'm gonna tap it over to the edge and hopefully make a nice little smiley face. There it is. It's coming. Some of this out of the way. 
So there we have it. That's pretty much it. We got a line of gold, solid gold from here all the way down to here. We got a couple little pickers, these uh, copper BBs, some lead, some steel, probably from the ha hammers from the impact mill. And you know, that's a fairly decent showing for a couple scoops. We got a whole bunch more to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and snuff for this up while I'm at it. I'll vacuum it up from one corner down the line. There it is. Look at all that silver. Is that stuff. some of your copper? Oh yeah, we got some more copper a balls. Bit. Man, that gold is so fine. That's ridiculous. It is just fine. right down oh, here. Look at that. And is that the copper right there? <laughs> See, it almost looks like there's quite a bit coming off of this tail, also. 